The best way to plan your facial feminization surgery is to know about the recovery process before your surgery. In this video, I am going to take you step by step through the recovery process of the facial feminization, what is the aftercare that is needed and how we can speed up the process of recovery. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Parag Telang. I am a facial feminization surgeon and the director and founder of Designer Bodies our Center for Advanced Cosmetic Surgery which is located in Mumbai, India. So in this video, I am going to explain to you 5 main aspects in your recovery after the facial feminization surgery which is the early post-operative care, how to take care of the incisions, the pain management after the surgery, some recovery tips for you to take care at home and last, some lifestyle modification changes. In the early post-operative period, the team will make sure that you sleep with your head elevated you will be given ice compresses to help with the swelling. There are creams which will help get rid of the bruising. And you will be wearing something called as a chin strap which is a compression belt which gives compression to the jawline and ensures that the swelling reduces faster. For the incision care, it is important to clean the incision every day. And you will be given a topical antiseptic solution and a cream that you need to apply on the stitches. With regular care of these stitches, these stitches heal really fast and in one week you can really start washing your hair without any problem. A lot of patients are also concerned about the visibility of their hairline incision and for all patients we normally recommend some silicone gel that helps in making the scar become fainter as the day passes and this application is important so that your scars fade away very fast. For pain management, we give you analgesics which will last for around 7 days most of the patients don't need too much of analgesia because after the surgery some parts really become more numb than painful and in patients who have underwent many procedures on the face we sometimes use painkiller patches which are applied on your skin which release the painkiller for 5 days so that you remain pain free during the recovery period. For a faster recovery at home, you should sleep with your head elevated, continue with ice application to areas which are still swollen, apply the creams as recommended and basically keep the suture line clean and healthy. This will ensure that your recovery is fast. After a jaw shave surgery, there will be stitches inside the mouth, so we recommend that you use a mouth rinse to keep the stitches clean. If you are not able to brush with a normal sized toothbrush, you can use a baby brush to brush your teeth. And of course you should have bland food, so you can have soups, you can have fruit juices and stay away from food which is too spicy. At our center, after a facial feminization surgery, we normally call the patient for the first follow up on the third day where all the bandages come off. The next follow up is on the 10th day where all the stitches are examined and if all the stitches are healing fine, you can fly back after this. The next follow-up is done a month after the facial feminization where you can connect with me online or you can send some photos and videos and we can assess how the recovery is progressing. The majority of swelling and bruising that happens, happens in the first two or three days and therefore the follow-up visit on the third day is important because once the bandages come out, we make sure that everything is healing fine and you don't have any blood collection or any excessive swelling that's checked on the third day. As regards the lifestyle modification, you should eat healthy food, you should avoid smoking and drinking for at least a month after your surgery and you should avoid any contact physical sports where you can have trauma to the face. You can resume light exercises 10 to 15 days after the surgery but intensive exercises have to wait till you finish at least a month after your surgery. So I hope that you found these tips for a faster recovery after facial feminization surgery to be helpful. If you found this video to be interesting, don't forget to like and share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications.